Dr. Naumab says Namibia is well on course to unlock its potential in terms of employment creation. This, he said, is illustrated in the more than 120 graduates in computing and informatics, 180 in various engineering fields, and more than 240 in health and applied sciences. NAST is gradually closing the gap between graduates in the STEM fields and non-STEM fields. This year, about 35% of the graduates are in the STEM fields, signifying a continuous growth in this respect. This graduation is also particularly significant to our mandate as a technological university because it illustrates that at NAST, research, science, technology and innovation continues to take center stage. This year, about 60% of the 91 master's degrees conferred at NAST were in STEM fields. Chairperson of the NAS Council, Floretta Nakusera, said the university is committed to driving research and innovation, promoting sustainability, and ensuring students are surrounded by a vibrant and engaging learning environment. As a knowledge hub, NAST has the fundamental responsibility to ensure that education does not remain exclusive to a selected few, but it is accessible to every Namibian child, regardless of their geographical location or background. Equally important, I implore all the graduates today to use your hard-earned education and qualification as a means to alleviate yourselves and others from the shackles of poverty. Higher Education Minister Dr. Itakanji Murangi lauded NAST for embracing an e-learning system, helping to mitigate the impact of COVID-19 on lecturers and students. In addition, this virtual environment supports teaching, learning, and the evaluation of assessment in a digital world. There is, however, no single solution as to how government can assist in the promotion and implementation of initiatives to improve the digital transformation of education. While a small number of students in Namibia used to be catered for through e-learning, there has been significant investment by government in the higher education system to strengthen the ICT systems and infrastructure at our higher education institutions.